The topic of discussion is consumer equilibrium. For that, we need to first understand the concept of utility. Utility is the satisfying power of a commodity, that is, it is the satisfaction derived from consuming a commodity. What is total utility? It is the sum total of utilities which is derived after consuming all units. Then we have the concept of marginal utility. It is the change in total utility. Or in simple words, it is the change in total utility achieved by consuming one additional commodity. Mathematically, it is the difference between total utility derived in period N and total utility derived in period N minus 1. After discussing the concept of total utility and marginal utility, it is important to know the relationship between them. When total utility increases at an increasing rate, marginal utility increases. When total utility increases at a decreasing rate, marginal utility then starts sloping downwards. When total utility reaches maximum, that is at the point of saturation, marginal utility then is zero. Finally, when total utility starts falling, marginal utility becomes negative. So it now becomes important to know what is the law of diminishing marginal utility, also known as fundamental law of satisfaction or even fundamental psychological law. It states that as more and more standard units of a commodity are continuously consumed, marginal utility derived from every additional unit must decline. In simple words, marginal utility is declining in nature when the units of a commodity are consumed continuously. Talking about consumer's equilibrium in case where a single commodity is considered that is determined by the price of the commodity, marginal utility and total utility of the commodity and marginal utility of money which is assumed as constant in this case. So equilibrium will be at the point where the ratio of marginal utility of a commodity to its price is equal to the marginal utility of money. In a two commodity case, equilibrium will be attained where the ratio of marginal utility of a commodity to its price for all the commodities is equal to the marginal utility of money. In other words, marginal utility derived from the last rupee spent should be equal to the amount spent on other commodities. However, this is just the cardinal method. We can find out consumer's equilibrium by the technique of indifference curves also. It uses the ordinal approach that is the approach of ranking the commodities on the basis of utilities derived from them. Indifference curve shows the different combinations of two goods when consumed by an individual give him same level of satisfaction. So therefore he is indifferent between all the combinations on the indifference curve. Diagrammatically, it is the downward sloping curve convex to the origin. The slope is the marginal rate of substitution, that is, how much of one good would be given up to consume one additional unit of the other good. It is decreasing from left to right. The properties of indifference curves are as follows. Indifference curves are convex to the origin. They are negatively sloped, that is, sloping downwards from left to right. And two indifference curves never touch or intersect each other. To determine consumer's equilibrium, we also need a budget line. It shows different possible combinations of two goods which a consumer can buy with a given income and prices of the two goods. At any point on the budget line, consumer spends all his income. Points above the budget line show unaffordable co combinations. Mathematically, it can be derived as price of x into quantity of x plus price of y into quantity of y is equal to the money income m.
The movement of a budget line can take place when there is a decrease or increase in the price of good A. The diagram shows the decrease in the price of good A or decrease or increase in price of good B and the diagram shows the decrease in the price of good B. So consumers equilibrium will be attained where indifference curves and budget line are tangent to each other. Mathematically the equilibrium will be attained where the ratio of marginal utilities attained from two goods is equal to the marginal rate of substitution. So this was a brief explanation of the topic consumers equilibrium. If you have any more questions feel free to contact us. Visit our website www.economicsharbor.com or email us at admin at the rate economicsharbor.com. Thank you and take care.